The following portion of Fox 43 AM Live is sponsored by Endeavor Private Wealth. Chris McGee, Managing Partner at Endeavor Private Wealth, has once again joined us for our latest segment on investing. Chris, good morning. Good morning. So Chris, uh, the field of economics uh, recently lost a distinguished and insightful thought leader with the passing of Professor uh, Daniel Kahneman. You've referenced his work in behavioral economics on several prior programs, and I hope you'll remind us of its significance for all investors. It, it would be my honor to do so, Dane. First, let me ask you, are you a rational person? Do you make decisions based on reason and logic? Uh, yes, I, I would say so, at least most of the time. Of course, and I'm sure our viewers would say the same. Proponents of traditional economic theory believe that you, me, and our viewers make financial decisions based on careful analysis of the costs and benefits of each choice available to us unaffected by the emotions which could negatively impact our judgment. Professor Kahneman, however, challenged the concept of the rational investor and found that human emotions are very powerful. Our feelings, along with all the stimuli we're exposed to, can influence our decision-making, causing us to behave or invest in ways that may take our eye off the ball contrary to our best interests. And I recall Professor Kahneman won the Nobel Prize in economics, but is it true he never took an economics course? It is true. His formal training was in psychology and his passion was studying the effects of human behavior and cognitive biases that could shape or distort our thinking. Kahneman teaches us that becoming aware of our flaws on how we process information in recognizing the mistakes or errors that may ensue, we can give ourselves the opportunity to make better financial decisions or at least to learn from the mistakes and not repeat them. I'm sure there's so much you'd like to tell us about the professor's work, but you know, we're limited on time, unfortunately. So I may ask, well, what stands out most to you? Yeah, in his book, Thinking Fast and Slow, he explains how we make decisions very fast, instinctively, with little need to process a lot of information. It's reflexive um, thinking brought about by circumstances requiring immediate action. For example, you don't deliberate when you're driving and the light turns red, you stop. But in more complex settings, like investing, in the markets with massive amounts of information available, and a myriad of variables to consider, it's prudent to slow down and take a more reflective, a more analytical and measured approach to decision making. Mm -hmm. And any other aspects of the professor's work you'd like to note? A another book that he co-authored is titled Noise. Its a thesis is that decision making is less consistent than we think. One day, an investment appears to be too risky, and the next, we think it's safe, even if the price didn't change. What may have changed, however, is the noise, all the conscious and unconscious inputs that influence our behaviors. Kahneman defines noise as the opposite of discipline, and discipline is doing the things in a reasonable way organizing our thoughts and thinkings as intentionally as possible. And Chris, before we let you go, you know, any final thoughts for our viewers? I, I highly recommend both books. Not only was Professor Kahneman an expert in the field of human judgment and decision making, but his writings simplify complex subjects, making for very interesting inter and entertaining and informative experiences perhaps worthy of future discussions with your trusted financial professional. Wonderful, well thank you for sharing with us, Chris. We always appreciate it. Of course, everybody to learn more about Endeavor Private Wealth, visit EndeavorPW.com. The preceding portion of Fox 43 AM Live was sponsored by Endeavor Private Wealth.